our aim with DEPAS is to go ahead with the digitization of citizen participation through the development of a system which offers digital online participation as well as on-site participation. The Ministry of Urban Development and Housing, the Agency of Geoinformatics and Surveying and the City Science Lab of the Harbour City University work together on this project. The tool enables the citizens to post geo-referenced feedback, get information and also exchange ideas with other users. Today, the citizen can write memos or comments on small pieces of paper. That's usually how it works. You just spend hours to digitize all these comments just to start the evaluation. So with DEPAS, you just have all the data, you can export them and you just start the evaluation. The key element of our tool is the map application. This is where the users can contribute their ideas, post questions and also post remarks. The additional value of DPAS is that it connects the possibilities of online participation with on-site events. Our team developed a customized interface for touch tables in order to make it possible to access the full potential of geodata so that you can discuss the online ideas also on-site and develop new ideas in the dialogue between the planners and the citizens on-site. The development takes place in three stages over three years in which each stage is tested and refined. We developed the interface of touch tables so the citizens can take part in the discussions because they get all the information about the geodata infrastructure of Hamburg. So you can talk about parks, you can talk about new housing projects, you can talk about city mobility. The next step, the second phase, will be integrating 3D models and also XPlan data into DPAS. So if now you have an integrated data interface of thousands of plans and you can work with them, you can analyze them and yeah, you can visualize them. Simulations have always been important for city planning, for analyzing the city landscape, the shadow casting or the accessibility of infrastructure, mobility or services in the city. So we always use simulation tools for that, but they have been traditionally used by experts for specific scenarios. But they become now more increasingly available for the early design stage and these kind of tools we want to integrate in the DPAS user interface. We will have 3D models and we can show shadowing and we can show noise pollution by changing really 3D modeling objects. With the increasing number of uh, citizen feedback, it becomes more complex with the traditional methods to uh, analyze and, and evaluate the data. So in order to filter, classify and cluster the trends and aspects that evolve during the process, we are going to use machine learning algorithms that help us do, uh, with this job. Citizens want to participate in the design of their urban living environment and we believe that through the uptake of their ideas the outcome of the planning processes can be improved and the acceptance of changes in the urban environment can be increased. auch wenn man reinzoomen kann, die Infos eben von den anderen sieht. Man kriegt dadurch ja auch einen Input. Ähm, ah, daran könnte man vielleicht an der Stelle auch denken. Das ist, glaube ich, auch weil man ringsrum stehen kann und von allen Seiten gucken, äh, ganz nett gemacht. Our aim is that DPAS, as like as our online tool, will be applied by a broad range of authorities, districts, ministries and public agencies. And as it is, Based on open standards and open source software, we hope that it is also interesting for other contexts and regions. <laughs>